Hey fellow tennis nerds, this is the Wilson Blade 98 Pro Stock Racket Review. The Blade is one of Wilson's most popular rackets in recent years. It has a rather low weight but is still stable due to having more weight in the head compared to many other rackets in the same weight range at least. The idea with the name Blade, which I think is one of the best names in the Wilson line, it is that you can really carve the ball. Uh, can really work well with slice shots especially and it's definitely a more controlled racket than a Wilson Burn or a Bablat Pure Drive for example. The one I tested has an 1820 string pattern uh, but there are also blades with a more open 1619 string pattern if you need a bit of extra spin. So what's the difference between a pro stock blade and a regular blade you buy in the store? Well the pro stock blade comes in a light hairpin, <coughs> has uh, shiny paint usually instead of matte paint, uh, so that's a good way to tell if it's a pro stock or not. Same goes for a lot of bablat pro stocks. Uh, it often has silicone or foam in the handle to dampen some vibrations and add some weight in the, in the handle to make it more head light. That's added usually by the Wilson Pro Room and the same goes for this racket that I tested. And it comes with kind of whatever stiffness or mold the professional player desires. And then what I mean by that is that if you like the K-Factor 98, for example, you can get a Pro Stock blade uh, based on that mold. Or if you like the 2015 version, which is probably my favorite, you can get that kind of mold. Uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, the paint job of this uh, version is my favorite. Like I said, the green and black one of 2015. Uh, there is definitely something else underneath though. I'm not exactly sure what is there. Uh, it has a measured um, stiffness rating of 62, which stands a bit on its own because I know that the most popular uh, mold uh, is the K Factor, uh, the K blade that is used by Stefanos Sitsipas and David Goffin, for example. That has a slightly higher stiffness but a really nice feel. This racket does feel like a beefed up K Factor to me, uh, but I can't tell for sure as the blades look very much alike. The racket definitely used to belong to a pro player. It's very solid. There's a lot of silicone in the handle. No lead tape whatsoever underneath the grommets. The weight is 336 grams strung with a 33 centimeter balance. So it's quite far from a retail stock weight. So the swing weight is probably around 340s, which makes it quite close to the specs of Raonic, Sitsipas and Goffin what they're uh, reportedly using. Raonic is using a bit of a heavier racket, uh, but a lot of young pros are using lower swing weights these days than the older guard uh, and more seasoned pros or retired players using really hefty swing weights. Tennis has changed a bit over the years and now you need to have a more, more racket head speed uh, and you're swinging faster, so the specs are also changing with the game. Here are the specs of the racket according to Pro Stock Tennis. I added two overgrips to compensate for the L2 grip size since I usually use L3. So it's nothing outrageous here. It's the unstrung weight is quite low still, but the balance is higher. So with strings you're looking at a pretty much even balance, which means it's it's quite a lot to swing for many players. So if you talk about the performance a bit, it has a relatively chunky swing weight. As you know, um, you need to prepare properly and hit with good technique to really make use of this racket. When I was playing well, the racket made me feel like a pro almost, but when I was tired and moving poorly, the racket felt quite demanding. So uh, on volleys, this racket was really solid and on serves, I felt I could hit with controlled pace. Uh, it has a lower launch angle than the 1619, which I personally like. That's a bit up to you, uh, but it gives it an extra sharp slice, so it can really knife the ball over the net. So I think it has a really uh, aptly named racket of all of Wilson's models. So it's a really versatile stick, it's not overpowered, it's not low powered, it's not a spin monster, and it's not a scalpel either. It's just a really solid performer, works both for attacking the net like Raonic and playing kind of fast footed defense like Goffin is doing. So it's easy to see why a lot of players like the blade and why a lot of players can use it. The blade is the stiffer one of the 398 square inch pro stock rackets that Wilson is more famous for. We have the H19, which is very flexible, similar to the PT57A from Head. 
Then we have the H22, which I reviewed before. Slightly stiffer, but a more even flex in the string bed. Doesn't cup the ball quite as much, which I feel enlarges the sweet spot a bit. Uh, this is all personal taste, obviously, what you like. And then we have the blade, which is similar in many ways to the H22, but it's even stiffer um, and more powerful depending on what uh, blade is underneath. I never had any comfort issues with the blade. Pro stock, uh, never really felt at home completely either. I don't really know why. Maybe it was a bit hefty, the swing weight or the, the weight in the head. That could be adjusted easily with even more weight in the handle, of course. But I still prefer the H22 as I think it has a bit sweeter feel. I like that uh, lower RA a bit more, I think. This racket does most things well, but I do not find it that much different than the K-Blade, for example, or a retail blade from 2015. I'm definitely not a fan of the countervail version. Uh, I don't think it gives enough feedback and it's too muted, but the 2015 green black, the same paint job as this one, the end blade 98, which is very flexible, a really nice feeling racket, or the K-Factor version are all good sticks and I think something you really need to try. So a good racket overall, not something I'm uh, craving for. Uh, I prefer the H22, like I said, but it's a really nice racket if you like the blade, and it's definitely more of a pro player spec with this one straight from the Wilson Pro Room. It's always fun to play these pro stock rackets and see if you can handle similar feel and weight like the pros are playing with. Anyway, thanks for watching this Tennis Nerd review. As always, really happy about all the feedback that I receive. Uh, on the website or comments on YouTube, etc. Don't forget to check out tennisnerd.net for more racket reviews and information about pro player frames. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter as tennisnerd.net and Facebook and YouTube as tennisnerd. So I appreciate the support and good luck on the court.